24 laps around Interlagos awaits these drivers in what should be an entertaining sprint. 24 laps around Sao Paulo in today's sprint. And it's lights out, and away we go. Hey, I'm Nick Kathleen Gamer. Welcome back to F1 Manager 23, episode 76. Okay, race scenario, it's a sprint. I'm not a fan of the sprints. We already have a yellow flag here. And Tanaka is involved in it. So, fan freaking tastic. Uh, for one, she actually had uh, a 17th qualifying position, there. which was nice. And, and that looks like it's her contact. fault. Turn one incident should not be a penalty, but Tanaka is the one to blame for that. Uh, Flourish, meanwhile, P12, which is where she started. I've done two things here that I don't normally do. One, I'm on the softs instead of the mediums, and you can see others around me have opted for the mediums. Two, I've underfueled by a lap for a sprint race. I never underfuel for a sprint race. No penalty given. Good. Um, the reason why I've done both of these things is it's supposed to rate. A little past the midway point of this sprint, we're supposed to get rain. That means we're going to recover fuel faster. That means that uh, the softs are going to be better in those conditions. And with lower pace, they won't degrade as fast. And if we do have to pit and go to the intermediates, then it's not a big deal. So giving us a chance to do a little bit more, be more aggressive today. Uh, we'll see how that works out. We've nearly got Norris over a second down as we are putting that pressure on ahead of us and still pushing on as we begin lap number three. Let's try to finish the overtake here with Albin in the Alfa Romeo, who have you know been a podium car of late. Today, not as much, and that is P11. Let's go ahead and back off. We do have to back off if we're going to be making it on these tires. Uh, Tanaka, meanwhile, is actually up to 17th, so she's competitive as well. Uh, let's speed things up a little bit and kind of wait and see what happens with the rain. Has anybody else gone on? No, we're the only ones for this strategy on the softs. It's supposed to be the exact same amount of time over a regular race than the mediums, where we're going to kind of drop below that 30% just before the end, which, of course, Tanaka won't make that. Might have thought of that beforehand, but we'll see what happens here with this rain. It's giving them the pace. It's giving them the chance. And predicted in four minutes. It's lap eight. Flourish is back down to 12th. Tanaka is back down to 18th. Rain is starting to fall. Flourish trying to return to 12th place after Norris had gotten around. Lap 12, and it's at point two. Definitely not time to pit at this point, and it's certainly helping with the tire wear, but Tanaka at 50% is way below where she needs to be. She's not going to make it on these softs. She will have to pit, which means her position is going to be completely ruined, which means she's the one where we're going to try to throw intermediates on and see what happens. It's all still fairly close. I mean, there's just 15 seconds from first to last right now. Field can't get much closer than it is, but uh, you can see we've got essentially three groups. We've got a front group through Magnuson, and then Porsche through uh, Drogovic, and then Sargent on down. A little bit better, a little bit stronger on the softs easily makes the overtake on uh, Porsche there and holds him off to keep the position. So this is forward movement for her. For her, with the compound lasting a bit longer, it is panning out at least a bit anyway. It's got her up to P10, but it's four seconds to Magnuson now. This is her first time leading the train, so she's not the one holding this train up. She's leading it on. We'll see if her pace is relative to Verstappen or Leclerc at least. Verstappen's starting to pull away a bit. 
Flourish and Porsche are battling is not helping. Did we get DRS? We were the ones coming from behind. No. We got ahead a little too early there, so Porsche gets the DRS. We'll have it this time. This whole group is bunched up behind this battle. It's really hurting them. They've lost over a second here. Yellow. And here is it Maloney? It is. Maloney spins, goes backwards. He was in that back group. 0. 0.6. It's almost wet enough. And Tanaka is going to have to pit here fairly soon. She's got one to two laps left. Uh, fuel. Bit of an issue here, though. Yellow. Red, f red flag. It's a red flag. It was oh, the that Williams takes care of the pit stop. See there. Oh no, it's Tanaka. Pushing a bit too hard at this point. Oh, and the cars there, unable to keep out of each other's way. Who was at fault? Well, there'll definitely be fingers being. Was pointed. there a collision on the inside, or was it just the AlphaTauri up our red, uh, gearbox? It's a red flag, though, and it's Tanaka who's taking the worst of it. We are damp. Yeah, great. Tadaka's retired. It's not 1.08, it's just 0.88. But rubber grip is very low. We'll see if others have gone for the same strategy we have. No. Oof. We're the only ones on the intermediates. Slow off the line, but light rain right now. Still five laps to go. I saw a major collision. T Tanaka got the... How... How can Tanaka get a penalty for somebody hitting her from behind? Flourish is able to keep 11th, but it is drying. The track is drying. We'll see if it's a little bit more intense here in one minute. Right now we're right on that edge, but grip is actually increasing and we are off pace and overheating. Five laps is a lot to be pushing for that also. Okay, rain, rain is intensifying slightly. Yeah, it, it said it was 1.08. So we come out and it's 0.8 and decreasing Game lied to me and it's cost us six positions and game lied to me and Tanaka gets a penalty for somebody Max hitting her from behind. Chassis, rear wing, and suspension all damaged. Gearbox, Gearbox took a 30% hit on that. We're not too far away from the race start. Who will win? Only time will tell. Here at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. And it's lights out. And away we go! From a competitive position to the back of the grid, it's looking like it's going to be a quick race, but we'll we'll see what happens. We are expecting rain again today. Definite intermediate conditions this time around, though. Uh, I've got Florsch going a little more aggressive with a soft medium intermediate strategy. Tanaka, knowing that she can't make it that far to the race, is going medium, medium, and then intermediates. Uh, so we'll we'll see how this plays out. I have underfueled by two laps for Flourish on this 71 lap race. For Tanaka, we're going to be a little more aggressive with her, give her a little extra pace by underfueling by three laps. We know that A, we've got a long race. It's a lot of laps, shorter lap distance. So that's not that much underfueling. Three kilograms for Flourish right now here already on lap two. 4.3 for Tanaka is definitely harder, but we do have intermediate conditions coming and if we're going to be competitive this is really the only way to make that happen we'll deal with the fuel we'll deal with the lifting coast when the time comes okay overheating starting to be an issue so let's back off it's time to back off anyway end of the lap and speed things up for a while 16th and 19th from the start there were penalties on the grid as a a lot of drivers took on new components. Flourish up two spots on lap six. 
her on the softs is definitely helping. She gets around two cars on the hards. Are they going to try to go all the way till the rain without a pit stop? We are getting field spread much more so than what we had uh, during the sprint race as there is some variation to strategies today. Flores just caught up to the group ahead of her, so she's within that DRS range. Has a chance to move forward. Uh, there's a crash. Several cars involved. We've got a yellow flag here. Now the focus is on Lando Norris here. Cutting it so close. Norris turns oh, in. Doesn't know the Alpha Tower is there. Uh, but there was contact. Combination on the fault because Norris doesn't know he's there and has the right to the corner entering late in the braking zone and just coming in and colliding with somebody as much as there's deniers out there it's the responsibility of the vehicle behind to not drive into the side of the vehicle ahead of them but Norris gets the penalty on this one as Florsch moves up another spot getting around Sergeant up to uh, P13 just over a second behind Albin though means no DRS and it's going to give a chance to have a battle here we're still overheating. We want to get into clean air. It looks like it's going to take us more than one go to uh, actually complete the overtake. Norris, well behind in P20. Don't know if there was a pit stop. Was there? There was. Out on the softs. Hadjar, into the pits. Flourish nearly gets the overtake done on Sergeant this time. And they continue battling through as we uh, come into that next lap. Flourish right behind. Gets the overtake done down the main straight this time, but with the uh, DRS situation, there's going to be an issue, and we just saw somebody run off. It's Flourish. Flourish was collided Is into. Williams involved? Now we're approaching turn two. Not Corner's hers. Room here. That's 100% the Aston Martin's fault. <laughs> and Flourish gets a penalty. Right. She's 100% ahead. And the Aston Martin, who's maybe got a knee, a nose, like just a, well, not even a nose, like just the edge of the wing, just the edge of the wing along the rear edge of her tire hits her. She's 99% ahead. That's her corner. That is her corner, 100% her corner. So the hope is now Tanaka. They're in 15th, but I mean, let's be real. She doesn't have that kind of pace. Uh, she's already way behind of those ahead of her. So that is our day ruined. Let's just get through the rest of the day, huh? Flourish down pit road to serve a penalty for somebody else. And to get her first pit stop out of the way. Oh, and then we have a problem with the right rear. That's freaking fantastic. 12.6 seconds standing still. Tanaka will enter pit road from P6. However, that's because almost all of the field has pit at uh, some point ahead of Tanaka. It's just nice to see she's lasted longer than others. 2.472, much better stop. 10 seconds better to be exact. Has her well ahead of her teammate coming back out in P16. Ahead of Sargent behind Maloney. And we have a VSC. There's been a crash. It's Ocon. It's not one of ours. And Flourish is overtaken under VSC conditions. She was uh, she was overtaken as soon as they said she'd already been overtaken before they said to go racing. Sergeant overtook her under VSC conditions in real life. And that would be a slam dunk penalty. And Tanaka did get back around Sergeant. And pulled away a bit, by the way. Uh, sprinkles starting to fall. A little earlier than expected. Plenty of life in our tires. The longer you hold out, the easier it is to make the end of the race. That two more laps can make a real difference. Right now, we're, we're definitely still about three laps earlier than expected on that. But those intermediates will make the end of the race. And there's the first one. Sergeant into the pits. On board with Tanaka as she's going to head for pit road. Plenty of the field is opting to pit this lap. 
2484. Closes up a bit on Maloney from where we were. Flourish right behind her on pit road. 2431. Much better stop for her. And she's just behind Norris now. Well ahead of Sargent. Ahead of Hadiar. She's up to 17th. Tanaka is 15th. We got a lot of race left to go. Up to temperature. Good. And up to temperature. Feels good for Flourish. Tanaka still has a, a ways to go on that. And the gap between them is definitely smaller than it was at 12 seconds. Tanaka with pace catching Maloney. Maloney has... We're overheating, but we will deal with that soon once we get around Maloney. Clean air is going to be a big part of this. We had a nice run there, but it was uh, ill-timed. Not as good of a run here. We looked out, we looked in, and we're going to stay put back off. Failed overtake. Failed overtake. And she's burnt through the battery already. In one lap of not actually doing anything. Oh, in that case. Yeah, she's still backing off with intent. Flores got around Norris up to P16. And the gap's already coming down. It's down to 11 seconds from over 12. But for Tanaka, this is a good chance to get the fuel right. Look to the inside. Still not trying. She has made no actual attempt to overtake. Finally, she uh, still doesn't. Runs wide. Back to harvest. Back to conserve and go light. Back off. Ease off. Minor underfloor damage. Awesome. She ran over a smooth curb. <laughs> and got under floor damage. Four seconds behind for Flourish. Tanaka overheating at five seconds back. Flourish runs wide. It's not one thing, it's 10,000 others. Lap 68. Back within three seconds and of now we've had a crash. Albin has crashed. Drops down the order. Is Albin still running? Albin is running again. P12 now. Haas, 7th and 9th. They're going to pick up some solid points today. Catching Maloney and overtaking Maloney is only going to do so much for us. It's going to have us beat Alpha Tauri. That's what it's going to have us do. Right now we're beating Mercedes. That would be a, an acceptable day for the team if we finished P8, P8 as a team today. So for Tanaka, we're going to push. It's too late. It's not happening. So no push. Final lap. Stappen's going to claim victory from Leclerc. Sonoda and an Alpine and third. Maloney. Tanaka. Flourish. Lap down. Tanaka is well off the pace on that last lap for some reason. Tanaka does finally finish ahead of Flourish, but of course Flourish gets a undeserved penalty for somebody else causing a collision. Clearly not her fault. Uh, there's... Really Yuki no Sonoda argument really where you can say it's her fault. Today. Somebody having what their wing alongside you does not mean that they are alongside right you. It's not how they the work, rules less. work regarding that. Pure relation there as the driver regroups with a team that works so hard. 100% her corner. So if she gets taken out. Then has to rejoin. Then has to go and serve a penalty. Tanaka had to serve a penalty. At the end of the last race for somebody else's fault as well. That one, maybe less so. This one, obvious slam dunk. But at least we do manage to finish ahead of a few cars anyway. 15th, not the worst race we're going to have. Tanaka, was that her best race now? Hadiar and Tanaka are actually the only two that have not scored a point this season. She's 19 behind in rating. 10 points for Piastri today. That's a huge 12 points for Haas. 
they've doubled their total for the entire season and in the last two races they have scored a majority of the points they've scored all season long but at 24 they're not close enough to impact us with just a couple races to go not our best day for pit stops especially with the uh, penalty but uh, we still scored 27 on the day and 624 now we're 110 ahead with two races to go so we are going to have the fastest pit stop classification uh, locked up here late in the season confidence has dropped to medium but i'm less worried about it because we have that seventh position that they're going to be looking for so we're going to get a boost from that here after these couple of races we should at least start the next season with that high confidence it's just going to be difficult entering next season when confidence has already taken a bit of a hit and um well we'll see we've we've got some at least decent changes coming to the regulations and i've been focusing heavily on research so if we have a car that's a step ahead and not just number one like our car is number one right now but first to tenth is incredibly close if that gap opens up stretches out a little bit to begin the new season we might be in a position to snag some points early on while other teams try to catch up driver development update as it's a turn of the month kind of moment uh cornering plus one for flourish and accuracy plus three whoo that's that's four points that that's a nice little haul there i mean obviously reactions are what we want most and we didn't get but uh that that's not bad now for tanaka cornering plus one control plus one adaptability plus one but reactions are plus one accuracy is plus one as a whole that's a lot of points i mean that that's a haul of five uh it's a good month for really for both of them for bernadette brun plus two to cornering plus two to breaking that's already four big points defending plus one and accuracy the one that's abysmal for her plus one that's a plus six uh this is probably the best month we've ever had for development the city of las vegas is a buzz with excitement as our race draws ever closer the atmosphere is electric here for the las vegas grand prix it's lights out and away we go an ultimate race of the year flourish starting 15th tanaka starting 19th we're going to go for a one-stop conservative strategy, speed things up, just get to the end of the season in one piece. Flourish's car in better shape. She's got all the best parts. Tanaka has one. I did not waste money on building new components down the stretch. Got nothing left to compete for. Tanaka in particular is destroying components left and right. Um mostly through her own fault occasionally through the fault of others but maybe if she was a better defensive driver she might be able to avoid those situations even even when it's not her fault but anyway uh, as a result tanaka is on used aerodynamic components for five of six her gearbox took that big hit in that last race weekend it's the last gearbox we have and all of the others are at either zero or one percent literally uh she's gone through a lot in a half a season here a lot of components in a half a season so really working at trying to not uh make her cost us that much money <laughs> we're a lap and a half in uh flourish is 14th so we did get around magnuson but we are over a second down on uh porsche here so not a good start with uh drs on the way and Tanaka will have to settle in as well, though, for now, she's in DRS range of signs and away from Maloney. Weird to see signs this far down, but maybe that's one of the cars carrying the penalty. Yeah, let's go speed. Uh, we only underfield by one lap. Let's see if we can't close up DRS range. Oh, we so nearly did. We were 1.03. And Magnuson just doesn't have enough pace. Magnuson doesn't have enough pace, so Magnuson ahead of us is an easy enough to overtake. But Magnuson 
ahead of us is losing time with Corsair. Flourish's pace is better, but she can't hold them off without the DRS. But signs slingshotting bumped Tanaka. That bumped her out of DRS range and uh, all of a sudden got overtaken by Magnuson. Signs gets around Flourish. That seemed like in inevitability at some point. There are cars that are on softs. So there are cars that should have had extra pace. Haven't gone anywhere. Haven't done anything special. They've been right in the train. So other than a potential undercut at the moment, it's looking really good. Tanaka will have to pit pretty soon. A little earlier than expected, and that's going to be a problem. She's going to have to stay out. Uh, she's going to be clear of DRS now, though, with so many other cars. Verstappen is behind us, having already pit. Floors is 13th all over the back of uh, Norris. And with just that couple laps to go, I can try to get her to uh, push on ahead. Optimal pit stop lap, so it's it's coming. That's good. Because somebody's right at 30% with uh, a lap to go. For the moment, Tanaka is 13th, but... With all those cars and that train opening up, all those cars pitting, Tanaka lost some ground here. Flourish, meanwhile, has hung right in there. Has not been able to get around Norris, though. Flourish is going to go up the inside of the Mercedes and make the overtake. As they both head to pit road, so good timing on that. Tanaka also coming down pit road, but it's about six seconds behind. Flourish should be ahead of the Mercedes. 2-5-6-2 and is. Is ahead of the Mercedes. Good. So she completes that overtake. Uh, Tanaka, 2-3-1. But we come out in 16th and 19th as others undercut pit earlier. But everybody's on the hards except for those last four cars to pit. Hadjar's already at 89%. He's going to struggle late on. Norris got around Flourish. Not sure what she did there to uh, lose that in the first lap, but Tanaka, at least not far behind. She's on much weaker components than Flourish, and she's only 10 seconds down, having not made any mistakes today, so we'll take that. We've just passed Pit Road. We've just passed pit road, so there's nothing to be gained here. It's an Alpha Tauri stopped, and incident. it's Hadjar. Happened right next to Flourish. Just completely on his own. And gearbox in the wall. We're going to go for it. We have nothing to gain by staying on the hards. Our position is not doing anything special. We're going to try to put on the softs. I don't think Tanaka's going to make it, but... Safety car ends, and we are in P16 and P18 as we restart. Uh, Tanaka, it's awfully close on making it to the end on these softs just because of how poor she is on tire wear. For Flourish, it should be easy. So Tanaka, we're not going to push at all on this restart. Flourish will get that standard approach. They both have full batteries, and they both have plenty of fuel now. Others might even be a bit too heavy. But apparently we're racing, it certainly doesn't look like it. Not a single side-by-side -side, uh, battle through turn one, two, or three. Uh, how much of the field pit? Not much. Leclerc, Verstappen, uh, Piastri, Porsche, Gasly, Magnussen, Maloney, and ourselves. And we went from, what, P15 and 18 to... P16 and 18, we did not give up much. And that's already Norris. We've already caught back up to Norris. I mean, that's who we were with. DRS is just now enabled. No wonder we weren't doing anything. I thought it was already enabled. Haven't we already gone a couple laps? Woo! Squeezing up the inside of Norris. But not pushing much on the tires, so let's let's finish the job here. Still alongside. Still alongside. As we head down the straight, we'll have the DRS, so that makes that easy. And we 
cruise on by. Uh, Magnuson also actually follows us through. And we're up to 15th. Go, 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 go. Up alongside. Don't tuck in, don't tuck in. Go, 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 accelerate, accelerate, yes! There's the grip of the softs. Standard. That's Norris ahead of us. We'll ride with Tanaka as she tries to make an overtake on Norris down the main straight. Flourish, meanwhile, is down to 1.1. Norris squeezes across into the wall. Late move there for the block. We had to literally get out of it. Uh, might have to actually push to do something. Let's go ahead and harvest for a little bit. Porsche just passes Joe up into 14th. 1.9 behind. Tanaka gets around Norris but can't hold the position. Remember, we are filling the battery right now anyway. Deploy. There you go. Down the main straight with DRS. And Tanaka's in P17. Uh, Drogovic blocks us twice on the straight. Allows Magnuson to come through. Makes two moves. That's weaving. Tanaka, meanwhile, is just behind. Look how close Tanaka is. Nice. Okay. Well, harvest. Don't be pushing. Both harvesting, setting themselves up for a move later. Uh, we got around Drogovic. Florsch has. Florsch got around Magnuson. Down the straight there. We've got traffic. Traffic that goes all the way to P4 and Russell. Let's uh, cool off a little bit. We've got a chance here with Tanaka to try to go forward. Joe and Drogovic in particular just don't have much pace. They're on the hards. So she can get a good run here. This would be her place. Yes, they have flap open as well, but they're on the hards, we're on the softs. And we do go up the inside. And Tadaka's into P16. Keep pushing. Go up the inside of the Haas, and you've got P15. Three laps to go. 42% though. Let's go ahead and turn the ERS battle assist on. Standard. Keep that fuel burning. It's P14. She might not hold it, but it's P14. Now, we've cooled off. We still have some spare fuel. What we don't have here. Three seconds to Tanaka, by the way. What we don't have here is much battery, so let's harvest. We're going to set ourselves up for a run here. It's lap 49. Can't wait much longer. Magnuson overtakes Tanaka. That DRS assist. I mean, we're one second away from being in the points today. It's not going to happen, but Tanaka. Oh, Tanaka. No, Tanaka. Magnuson goes by. That's Leclerc. Leclerc is today's 13th and 15th. That close, but still, that's a good result. Leclerc takes a win ahead of her staff in. 0 0.016 between them. It's a good, it's a good result. Not a points result, but that's a good result. Especially for Tanaka to only be a few seconds behind her teammate with a lot of weaker components. Well, what an incredible and to not make mistakes. Nice clean day. Leclerc already long since wrapped up the championship. Flourish. Looks like she's going to stay 17th here down the stretch. Sargent adds six points in the Aston Martin. Uh, that gets them to 52, but at 30, 35 behind. They're, they're not going to overtake us, but Aston Martin and Haas, looks like they've continued to develop this year's car down the stretch, and they haven't focused on next year's car. That could make them weaker entering next season, and that seventh is all but secure now with one race to go. Uh, Alpine back ahead of McLaren. That's one that had been back and forth for a, quite a while. 
Uh, Mercedes 10 points ahead of Alpine. They overtook them a while back and actually have only just stayed ahead. So there's still a battle for third, fourth, fifth here down the stretch. We've certainly locked up the DHL fastest pit stop with uh, one race to go. That's going to do it for this episode on Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.